¿Dónde está mi hub? Perdí mi hub. Hey, what's up, you guys? Sharkus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Marvel Legends Joe Fix It Build a Figure Waves Joe Costa. Try to get your Marvel Legends, you can do so at Big, Big, Big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. While you're down there, why don't you hit that like button and hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. We need the one million subscribers and this figure is looking really cool so far already. It says Joe Costa right there, Marvel right over there on the side, nice looking artwork. And then on the back, you can see a product shot. There's a read up over here in multiple languages. If you wanna read it, go ahead and pause it right now. There's the other figures from the wave. And then on this side, we get Joe Costa again. And then on the top, we get a spot varnished Marvel logo and then not much more at the bottom. So let's get to it and crack this thing open. <laughs> So aside from a Build-A-Figure piece and coffee stain, Jocasta comes with two sets of interchangeable hands. We get these Scarlet Witch kind of hands. Uh, she's used these before. They've used them for Scarlet Witch. And you get these fisted hands. I gotta say, these silver paint apps on these hands look very clean. You know, there is some color variation as far as the silvers go on the figure. So we will take a look at that in just a second. <laughs> Feeling a little lonely and you feel like you need a mate? Well, you just make one. Yeah, that's what Ultron did. But yeah, so that's basically the backstory of Jocasta, created by Ultron so that he could have a partner. Later on, she defects and she joins the Avengers. I mostly remember Jocasta from the Mighty Avengers comics, which had made me want this figure a whole lot more back then, but I'm still happy to see the figure right now. From what I remember, her abilities are more or less in the same range as Ultron, maybe less powerful, but yeah, you know, she's a a living supercomputer and at one point she had a crush on vision which i thought was fascinating but i really like this head sculpt a lot those little bolts right there look really good the silver paint looks really nice on this too very smooth back of the head right over there no weird swirls or anything like that i dig it and i'm stoked to see that hasbro has reused the moonstone body mold for the most part you know the arms are from the moonstone body mold figure uh, but the torso sections right here are new especially the upper torso you can see that you get that middle line work right there the sculpt so that stripe right there is brand new uh, as far as the silver over the tetas that's actually just paint it's not sculpted over as you can see on the side right there so that looks fine to me nice shine well a little imperfection and everything in the plastic you know and then the lower torso uh, again we get that sculpted strip right over here and then around down there around the crotch and the hips and everything you have this added line work so it's like they added this over the moonstone body mold because i do recognize those nalgas i do recognize them and you get the charlie to one thighs right over there too this added piece right here can be removed you can see it slide up and down but yeah i do like the silver plastic you can see some swirling and marbling so there are imperfections and you can see that there are parts where it's painted silver like the feet you know the feet are painted silver but the plastic is you know kind of a duller silver plastic same thing with the arms right here i'm noticing that too the hands are brighter than the actual forearm right over there but you still get peg holes at the bottom of the feet i also wanted to point out how the calves look especially swirly with the marbling thing going on right there so i wish that was a little cleaner so i feel like there's enough new stuff going on here with this figure Figure to go over the articulation thoroughly you can turn the head side to side but due to these little ponytails her head will always kind of look up a little bit when you do that uh, you can get her head to only shift upward it does have a hinge in there by the way which makes me happy but she'll look up just that far and you can get her to look downward just that much and a little bit of head wobbling there as well the uh, shoulders move up and that far which is a great range of motion all the way inward full rotation right there bicep swivels single jointed elbows that bend a little bit more than 90 degrees you get swivels at the elbows and then all the hands turn side to side and hinge up and down this new diaphragm joint turns side to side you get some diaphragm pivot and she'll barely crunch forward and she'll crunch back a whole lot more so hips move outward that far she'll kick forward that much back uh, the tiniest bit upper thigh cut double jointed knees then the ankles move down uh, you have to kind of shimmy them to move them upward and then she does have beautiful ankle pivot now to measure out the height of this Joe Costa figure, you can see that she is standing just a little under that six and a half inch mark. And then for a size comparison and family portrait, we have Hank Pym's Ant-Man, and then we have the three-pack Ultron figure and our vintage collection Vision figure. And then here's Joe Costa next to a couple of her other Mighty Avengers teammates from when Hank Pym was 
wasp. So yeah, male wasp version. Anyway, you can see the 80 years Hulk right over here. And then we have our most recently released Hercules. Then here's Jocasta next to the Marvel Legends wasp figure. And they both utilize Moonstone body parts, which is kind of interesting because more or less they do have the same ass, which is kind of funny. And Ultron did use the personality or the consciousness of Janet Van Dyne to create Jocasta over here. And that's one reason why he chose that name is he was self-aware enough to know that he kind of had an Oedipus complex. So very interesting stuff and gross too, but they're robots. So I guess it's okay but still weird. And then for a size comparison, I think most of us have been wanting to see. Uh, this is a Silver Sable body mold with a little Alondra head sculpt on there with the Valkyrie cape. And then we have a Series 2 Namor Trident in hand over here. So if you want to make your Lalandra figure out of this Jocasta body, you can do that. And it looks okay. Yeah, it doesn't look bad. I, I gotta tell you though, man, I am feeling the Silver Sable body mold a little bit more with this. There seems to be more of a bluish hue in the silver on this this figure as opposed to this one just being straight up silver and gray right so it kind of goes with the head sculpt a little bit more on this side for me more so than this one however out of the two body molds i generally like this one a little bit more and to mod it it's a little bit easier to do all you have to do is just take off that band it just slips right off this one i actually need to do some cutting of the straps and everything but she does have the hands to hold a scepter or a trident or whatever you want her to hold this one you just get the interchangeable hands that can't hold anything oh Oh, and the other thing is that the Silver Sable has a port on the back. This one does not. So getting this cape around her is going to be a lot trickier. I guess you have to take off that peg that would normally go into the back of the figure. I'm going to stick with this for my Lilandra. I'm happy. And here's Lilandra next to the Jessica Jones figure. I just wanted to show this off over here because I did swap the hands and the heads just to give her some street clothes, which she can change her appearance. So I thought, hey, that'd look kind of neat, but the fleshy neck kind of ruins it. I don't know. Let me know what you think. And then here's Jocasta next to the other figures from the Wave that I've already reviewed. We have the Stealth Captain America and the Atmosphere Armor Iron Man. I did a review of these two in one video that went up late yesterday. So if you missed it, go ahead and check it out. And then here's the Jocasta figure next to your average six inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends big time badass Spider-Man. Ooh, shiny. Hey, I can see my so ah! So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And a big thank you to all these people over here that support what I do here on YouTube via Patreon. It really goes a long way. If you're interested in being one of the people to help make this channel grow, check it out. Link in the description below. And this figure is okay, man. I like it. I gotta say, I really like the body mold. So right there from the beginning, it's one points for me. Uh, however, I think we could have gotten different interchangeable hands. I don't know. Like the Scarlet Witch hand, Hands kind of throw me off like having more wide open hands I think would have been a little bit cooler but I do like posing it around I'm happy to have this new character in the collection finally so I am stoked about that I really don't have too many complaints there's just little parts here and there where the paint skips out and that kind of bothers me a little bit and things could have been just a little bit cleaner who knows if I had another copy of this maybe I could compare and see how that one would look but really at the price point of around 25 bucks I'm gonna give this Joe Costa figure a sun rating of it's not so bad and I'd like to know what you guys think. I'm stoked for this. This is like the Joe Costa figure that I feel like I've been wanting for a long time. So I'm happy to have this figure. Again, let me know in the comments section below. If you want to see the latest in Marvel news and a photo gallery of images, you can find it all over at MarvelousNews.com. And if you want to stay in touch with me via social media, you can catch me over at Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and Stardust. And I will catch you guys later. Peace. <laughs>